right, so it's just a quick video just to show you what I'm up to at the moment. It's got a lot of cars sat in here. Just stripping the paint. Not sure what that one was. shakers in here. Apart from the bone shakers, so I know there's just someone cutting a tree down up there. Um, apart from the bone shakers, which we knew these were old cars have been left in the garden, which will need new wheels. Um, <coughs> so they just need a strip of clean off. These ones which I'm going to open up with the acetone. Yeah, I'm really not, I don't set about with the actual plan in mind as to what colour. what scheme I'm going to use on them but to be honest it's just a certain satisfaction at just stripping the paint off and getting them all clean back to the raw base something really nice looking about them and you can get them all polished up and clean I might end up doing a set that I just just polished. I mean, if someone can let me know if one of you do clean them back, if I need to put a clear spray on them to stop them tarnishing, if that'll work. Now, I've not looked into transfers and decals yet, I've seen. I know where I can get the sheets from. But if anyone's got any tips on that. On the best way to do it. Whether you're basically just going on picking your images and downsizing them. Or if there's any good sites. said in my videos before there really is a struggle to get anything new so this going out buying duplicates of catons that I like to be able to customize is keeping the interest alive so I really do want to avoid going on sites and buying. I mean, I know recently I've just picked up a couple, but they were old castings that I won't be able to get otherwise. Like, I really want to get all the DeLoreans. got 
this one here, which I do actually want to try. And customise it fully. Redo the whole base. And try and bring it back to being a reliant three wheeler. Which, if works, would look pretty cool. I mean, I know the base. The main part of the base is metal, but then part of it's plastic. It's interesting to know whether the actual car casting is going to be metal or plastic, just to have it all stripped back. One thing I've not figured out what I'm going to do yet is the whole fixing them back together. Because I'll admit I've not quite got the full hang on getting them off the bases. Some of the pegs that are holding the rivets aren't coming out to be in the best condition afterwards. So, if anyone out there has got any ideas or can point me in the direction of the videos that maybe show that I glue the bases rather than screwing them, that would be really helpful. This is one of my favourite castings at the moment. I think my favourite overall probably is the Bone Shaker um, and the DeLorean. I'm really liking these old. I'm not a fan of the European cars, Japanese cars. Come on, take down a second. I do like the old dodges, the challenges, the charges, <coughs> and the like of. YouTube running in the background at the moment. Watching a green go through all these Camaro collection. So if you out there have got some really nice collections, which I'll never have anything as much as that, especially without what's available around here. So is this plastic or? Yeah. Yeah, it's a plastic top. But I'm hoping my idea is if I can take all this out, maybe some plastic card, construct a back door. Take this metal base out, reconstruct the back. Should be able to drill this out. Put an axle in. Hopefully that should work. You turn it back into the car it should be. This one's 
slowly right. coming away. And I think we're getting there. Stripped quite a few cars now, which, as I said, is something satisfying about just cleaning them off and then polishing them up. Getting to see all that go detail in the car, the amount of detail in the castings. I mean, the thing is, I'm not going to be able to put. wheel rides and stuff on them, but they are pretty much just getting their own wheels back because see, I've only got three supers. We don't get all the wheel riders. What you call classics. And the retro cars, they don't come over here. So, unfortunately, wheels are as they come. Some of the other castings that I've already shipped off. I mean, as you'll know from when you've done them yourself, so how nice they look when they're all cleaned off and polished. So I'll probably will do a whole set, which is clean back. But I can't, like I say, if I don't let me know if I'm just leaving them like that, or we'll just tarnish back, or if I do need to run a clear gloss over them. Just a little bit of polish in there. That's an old Impala. Which I'll have to do some. The plastic base needs a bit of work on that. It's a bit like this one. So they've been. These will need wheels replacing. So like I said, these have been out in the garden for quite some time. But it's really nice being able to bring them back, clean them up. Back well, yeah, that'll be it for this video for now. Um, and as I get further on, I'll post another one. Thanks for watching. So this is um, just cleaned off. Two bone shakers. Which are ready for. Polish on them, move on to the next stage. But these ones, I'm sure, give them another little go in the dip just to get into the most on this one. See the red, it's still in all the crevices and creases. See it in the lights. I was giving them a dip for about 10 minutes, so it's all yellow there in the wood vents. In the doors. So I'll just pop these back in. Already looking very nice. Someone else is going to take a little bit of work to get all that tarnish off. But that's part of the enjoyment of it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you later.